My name is Brian, and the point of this video is to tell you about the Tolman model. And basically what it is, is it's a six-part system that can be used to develop and analyze arguments. And it consists of a claim, evidence, a warrant, a backing, a rebuttal, and a qualifier. Alright, and here's an example. So the claim from this ad says that you should buy an Infiniti G sedan because they are fun to drive. And the evidence that's going to back up this claim is that the car is powerful enough to give you a feeling of lim limitless acceleration, which is what it's going to say right there. So that's just kind of where that came from. Alright. And the warrant is going to be what backs up the evidence and uh, what's saying, or what's going to give your evidence weight, pretty much, is actually what it's going to be. And that's going to be that driving fast is fun, and that's something that you're going to want to do. And the backing that's going to make the warrant, you know, worth something is that people don't want a car that is slow and incapable of going fast. And the rebuttal is going to be is that uh, just something that could go against your claim. And that's going to be here that a car that can go fast isn't necessarily going to be a safe car. And so the qualifier is going to be a revision of the claim that includes uh, the rebuttal uh, to go against it, which is as long as safety isn't a big factor in your car buying, you should get an Infiniti G sedan. All right, and here's just an original example I came up with at the top of my head. And the claim is that there should be at least one three-day weekend a month on school calendar. And the evidence to support this claim is going to be that students can become overworked if they go to school week after week without a longer break. And the warrant is what's going to, once again, give this evidence some meaning. And it's going to be that administrators and parents want their kids to do better in school. And the backing is what's going to connect them and say that students do better if they work after they've had an extended break. And the rebuttal, which is the possible uh, disagreement to my argument, is that adding extra days will result in days being taken away from seasonal breaks. And so the revised claim, the qualifier, which is going to be uh, making it so there's at least one three-day weekend every month in the school calendar is a good idea as long as days are taken away from seasonal breaks, there are still 180 school days.